Hi, I'm Bill Ritchie and I'm going to test a Galleon Halfwood Press today. This one is special, it's the purple part. And I'm going to be using an acrylic plate. I don't usually use acrylics, but the person interested in this Galleon is using acrylics, and so I'm using 16 inch acrylic plate. I left some of the frosted coating on the back so I could see uh, better when I'm inking. I beveled the edges extremely so that it's easier to go under the roller. And I'll be using an oil base ink. This is a Charbonnel black ink. They call it soft black. And I'll be mixing a little bit of plate oil, a little bit of burnt plate oil in my oil base ink and wiping with a combination of paper and whatever else I think I need. I have to confess I'm not expert at printing on acrylic. Uh, the reason I avoid the acrylic is because uh, it, the polish of the plate goes away after a while because of the pigment in the inks. And so a plate that might start out very bright and contrasty becomes more and more toned as you go along. I have paper waiting for me over there it's Arches cover and I sprayed it on both sides and then I interleaved it with clean new newsprint also sprayed and I'll be using that newsprint as a kind of break so that the plate won't slip as it goes into the press on this very smooth bed. So, oh and one more thing I'm only loading the press with two blankets a lot of printmakers use three blankets, the cushion blanket uh, and the uh, sizing catcher and the roller blanket. But for thin plates, I'm happy with just two. Uh, the press comes with all three blankets for those people who want to do collagraphs and other kinds of plates that have a lot of thickness to them so that the, uh, the, the forming blanket or the pusher has to you know, really push the paper down into those deep areas. This press also does not yet have the roller rulers on the side. Uh, I'll be working just uh, you know, freehand, but every press comes with roller rulers on it, as you can see from photographs online. So I guess I'll get started here by mixing up my ink.
Now the plate's wiped and I'm ready to get my paper and set up the press. Keep it in a plastic bag while it's soaked, soaked in here for about three hours, I guess. I have three sheets of paper ready. And each one has its own um, newsprint that goes with it. And I'll use that on, uh, on the press bed. It keeps the plate from slipping and sliding. The galleon has a 9 inch wide press bed. This is an 8 inch long or wide plate and I made it for this test. The newsprint goes under the plate to help resist sliding and then the printing paper this is Arch's cover and I guessed at the pressure before I started today a little too tight. The bottom roller just slips if it's too tight, so I'll loosen it one-fourth of a turn. And if I like, I could go back again, but I'm just going to put it through one time to see my results. This is a test. And I'll put a moment number on it because that's my thing. Moment number, the exact date and time. This is the year 16, the month August 8th, and the day the 10th and the time by the 24 hour clock is 15 15 15 a quarter after three That first test was a little disappointing. I think I had too much oil in the ink, and so this time I'm using the ink right out of the tube. And also I'm not going to use the paper wipe. Uh, I believe that with dry points, you shouldn't wipe it at all with any kind of tarlatan or papers and that kind of thing. And to get the ink distributed evenly, it's a good idea to go over it with a brayer. That'll distribute the ink nice and evenly. And I usually work on copper plate. And when I do dry point on copper plate, I only use my hand for wiping. It's very messy, but what can I do? So working with a very dry hand, it's called the hand wipe. Takes a lot of wiping. It's easy to uh, wipe out a plate like this. Easy to over wipe the ink. It should actually be kind of a a patting, so it's sort of patting the plate. I'm not really trying to drag the ink off because a dry point depends on its quality for that burr.
and uh, it doesn't help the burr if you keep scrubbing it away. And so I'm kind of hitting at the plate and kind of patting at it. I think that's a better method. So you see it's kind of like patting. Not wiping so much. It's a sort of patting, and then you're patting the ink off, and then you wipe the ink off your hand. Pat, 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 pat. And then after so much of that patting, then back to the stroking process, and that stroking will bring out the uh, burr and the little halo lines that are characteristic of the dry point. For this uh, second proof I decided to go twice through. Uh, the thinking is sometimes the uh, if you're not getting the print you want the first time through the paper is very wet, maybe too wet, and resists the ink and uh, so the first time through it squeezes a lot of that water out into the sizing catcher and then the second time through it's meeting with a drier surface and so we'll see how this one turns out. one on the top is the second proof and the one on the bottom was the first one. This is probably a piece of dead ink or something that I didn't see when I was wiping. And if I were an artist using acrylic, I would probably make my lines a little stronger. I would probably bear down a little harder and uh, experiment. And as I said, I don't usually work with acrylic and so uh, this will just serve as a test and we'll let the artist with uh, his or her artistic skills decide what to do next. Anyway, it was a test to make sure that the artist would be happy with the results of the Galleon Press using an 8 inch wide plate. I have an extra sheet of paper and I have another press here, the Mariner, which has a 12 inch wide bed. So I thought I'd use this piece of paper and re-ink the plate again and print it on the Mariner just out of curiosity. Don't expect there to be any difference. And I am guessing at the pressure again. And I will go two times through. Ooh, that's a lot more pressure than I expected. I think it's probably because I uh, tested it with newsprint when I set up the pressure. And this is actual artist paper, so that adds quite a bit of dimension. And I am going to go through two times, partly so that it just shows on the video easier. I expect this to be about maximum pressure. Moment number, 4.40 in the afternoon. At a glance it looks a lot the same. Maybe more plate tone picked up perhaps. This was the first one I printed, and the second on the Galleon. And this is the third one I printed on the Mariner. Not much difference. Of course, you have to allow for the different wiping technique. I might not be up 
to practice as much as I'd like to be, but I think this is sufficient for a test to show the person that's interested in this galleon or the mariner. Thanks for watching. I'm Bill Ritchie.